Hi there and welcome to my page. My name is Dawn and today we're going to have a few different things going on. I found some fabulous finds at some sales, went on a field trip, and we're going to make some Granny's Cobbler. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you're joining me today. Um, I'm Dawn from The Silver Funch and today I'm going to share with you what I found at a few garage sales. Um, not as much, obviously, as I was hoping for, but I did find some really cute finds. So, start off with this. My neighbor lady across the street, Taylor, they have the most beautiful geraniums, and they're red. And he was telling us that I guess they get them in, like, two pots. They used to get them in four pots, but now it's two. And I'll have to show you some pictures of them at the end, but they're gorgeous. And I sit on the porch and I'm in just such envy of them and I love them. And um, so anyway, so I found this pretty geranium and we know that I won't kill it. And it was only a dollar. So I have one now for my porch and it definitely will not die. So I'm super excited about it. But hers are definitely just, oh my gosh, they're so gorgeous. I got that and I got this little plate it just kind of spoke to me I just thought it kind of fit the lake because um, we live on the lake here in Ohio and I just thought it was so vintage and pretty and I'm definitely gonna keep this this will not go to the store but just something to kind of hang I really like it this here look at this is this not the cutest little box? It was a dollar. One dollar. And I just thought it was so unique. And I had got it because I thought I would take it to the shop. And then my son came over and he goes, Mom, you know, what? what is this? This is so neat. And um, my son very rarely likes anything that I like. So for him to say that he really likes it, I said, you know what, you can just have it. Take it to your place, it's all good. So he, this will be at his house, but I just think it's cute and only for a dollar. Just something different. Look at this. This lady had three items. I got three items from her and a couple of shirts, and it was just basically, you know, make an offer, what, whatever you think, and I, I try to be fair with that, and, um, but this here, and it's from Hobby Lobby, it's $14.99. I'm not real fond of this color, this just isn't, this would not work for me in, in my house, although it probably would in others. But um, I have a gray one that's kind of similar that my daughter got me. And, um, but I think I'm going to paint it and I'll probably put it at the shop. But anyways, I got everything. Um, I got everything for $10, which one of them was a brand new pair of jeans. Still have the tags on them. So I got mm. all of these items for $10 from her. So I like that. That's really cute. And then I got these two boxes. From her and whoever they signed them they gave us the autograph and that was in 2017 so somebody handmade these which I just love things that are handmade and um, let me see this one yep same thing here so again I'm not fond of these colors they do not work for me but what I wanted to do is, is we are remodeling our last bathroom upstairs. And so I wanted to take these and paint them two different kinds of white. Imagine that. And there, we're building a shelf, if it all works out correctly. We're going to build a shelf. And I could put these on there. And I thought I could maybe put my jewelry or my earrings in there. So um, that's kind of the plan. I may have some new knobs to switch out. Sorry, you guys, that's my dog over there. She's just rubbing all over the floor. Sorry if you hear that. So anyways, um, and then I got the clothes from her and a brand new pair of jeans. So pretty excited about that. So these will not be going to the shop. Um, this here, my husband was so excited. He has this thing for boats. 
and he always has. Um, and so I saw this at the same sale as I got this one. I have 50 cents on it. And if you could just see it, it's, it's metal and wood. It does need a good cleanup. This piece here was broke, but it's nothing that he can't fix. But it's just so unique and so kind of him. And so um, I got it for him and he was just tickled to death with it. And then obviously there's the number for it, but, um, and we'll find a place here in the house for this for him. So anyway, so we'll get her all cleaned up. So I think she's gonna be cute. Two more things that I found. This fan. She taped the instructions and whatnot down here. So cute. Um, I had got this a week or two ago maybe, and I don't know if, I don't think I showed it in my last video, but anyways, but it was sitting here with my stuff and I need to, I didn't know if I was going to take it to the shop or not. I haven't really decided yet, but anyways, super cute little fan, so that was a good little find. It's real heavy too. I can't get over it. It's super heavy. But this one here, this I think is going to be fun. I hope it works out the way that I'm wanting it to work out. I got this at the same place I got the boat and the plate. It was $3, I think. Well, I got it for $3, that's that's five, but I got it for $3. And what I'm gonna do is, in our bathroom that we're remodeling upstairs, um, there was a light there and I took it out and I was wanting to find something and I just kind of like, oh, this is cute. So I think I'm gonna paint this. I think I'm gonna do something with the lampshade. Um, but anyways, I thought about putting this right up over in the mirror. And of course, I'll have to show you the mirror when I get ready and do the project. I got it at a sale for a dollar. So this is what, this is what I got. So I'm really excited to use these items. So that's pretty much it. Other than a few other little clothes and some things for my grandbabies. Um, wasn't a lot of sales going on or um, nothing of interest anyways. So, but I'll definitely have to um, do some makeovers and junk overs and show you these as uh, in some future videos. Okay, so this here is a little bit different. This is, we went blueberry picking with my grandkids. And so I wanted to make some cobbler like my granny used to. And keep in mind, I had to tweak this for my diabetes, but you do not have to tweak it. I will drop the recipe below, but just the kitchen smelled so great. And I just loved it. And it brought back such fond memories for me. And you could use any kind of fruit that you want. Um, I just happened to use the blueberries and that's what Granny did. I hope you like it. I hope you all had a great fourth and celebrated and happy birthday America. And we are just so fortunate to live in such a great country. Now we headed out to a little field trip. I'm sorry about some of the uh, photography here, but I'm still learning, so be patient. But um, this is a little place about 10 minutes from us, and um, my sister was telling me all about it and said, you've just got to go, and we're so glad that we did. And we, they have meats and cheese, and, and Saucy Sal's is also known for their mustards and their dips and it's just a fun little store to check out and, and grab some grab a few goodies and we brought some things home and and that day they were actually giving everyone a free bottle of their new sauce and um we came home and tried it on um our ribs and i gotta tell you it is so good but we, we just found this little gym and, and I'm so excited and just a fun little place. They got fresh produce and they have donuts and the best coffee and looky there, there's my handsome husband. Um, it, it, it's just, it's just a great little place. I love these little gyms. And so if you get a chance to go out and help support locals or find some little markets, um, I definitely would check them out.
Dave, did you see this cheese? Now it's time to dig into Granny's Cobbler. Here's a few things that I did for, for my tablescape. Um, just a little pops of red, white, and blue and to celebrate America for sure. Um, I'm not sure what your guys' plans are, but Drizzle Lake, the fireworks are, was on the second and not on the fourth. So it was a table for just me and my husband. Um, he generally has to um, work. So, but happy anniversary to us. We did go, manage to go out and have a really nice dinner. And this place was so cool. You, we cooked your meat on these stones that were 750 degrees. It was amazing. Um, definitely hands down would recommend this place to anybody. Um, it was just so nice to get away and someone else cook and, and then celebrate us. And of course, I have to bring you a pup date. The girls are getting along so well, and they're sitting and shaking, and they're settling in really well. And thank you so much for all the um, the love, and they've just brought so much joy to our life, and, and we are loving them to death. And I'll be sure to give you more updates as uh, as they continue to grow. But thanks again for watching, and make sure that you hit that subscribe button and we'll see you next time. Thanks.